Hey, good morning. Super good morning. <laughs> um, it's uh, 7.20 a.m. It's Sunday. It's June 23rd. And I just woke up a few minutes ago. Um, well, actually about 40 minutes ago, I think. Um, so it's funny because, you know, I don't really... <laughs> I, I, I'm a morning person, I am, you know, I, I like being up early in the morning, um, I like the sun, you know, and I like the, um, I don't know, just the peacefulness of the morning, it's, it's just really nice to take it all in, so anyway, um, you know, I, this, this video is really about, like, healing, you know, um, and I'm gonna try to, um, I try, you know, not to bring up these issues or anything like that, you know, um, yesterday I had a pretty good day. I mean, I did get out and I, I decided I'm going to get my bed sheets, um, online because they really didn't have what I was looking for at any of the stores. And I've been stopping off at some of these stores. Um, there have a few places I went that I haven't been before. And, um, there's this cute place over on California Avenue. They have, um, here in Bakersfield, they have these, like, it's a $5 type store. And I, of course, I wasn't looking for bed sheets there, but I, I, my intention was to stop off at the Burlington factory store. Um, but they, it was in that little shopping center, so I stopped in. And they have a lot of cute stuff. And, you know, I'm on a budget, so, I, you know, there's a part of you, part of me that, like, oh, you know, I want this and I want that, you know, because it's only $5. But I know that, you know, when you're on a budget, even going to the dollar store can be... Um, can be tricky because you know you could end up spending you know fifty dollars at the dollar store when you only went in there to get like maybe a roll of paper towels or something so it's like you know um i'm like okay just because you look at this stuff doesn't mean you need to buy it you know i'm like well you know i i, I get paid next week so i i guess i could do that i'm like no 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 you know it's 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 like me learning how to say no to myself you know um you know, because I remember, you know, when I was younger, it was like, you know, I was pretty impulsive. Like, if I wanted something, I would just get it, you know. <laughs> but, you know, and really, I, I honestly can say that, you know, I may not have much, but I'm content with the things that I do have. And some people who are used to having all kinds of luxury items could look in my house like, well, but you don't, you only have like a 32-inch TV, you know. And because they're used to having bigger ones, you know, but I am, I'm very content with what I have. So I just see cute things and I just go crazy, you know, and I'm like, do I really need this cute thing? No, I don't, you know, but I will say for you people who have like this endless amount of cash and you like getting out on the weekends, I suggest you check that place out. You know, it's cute, especially if you have <coughs> young, <coughs> young, um, young kids, um, or um, teens, early twenties. They have a lot of stuff there, um, just fun stuff, you know, fun stuff to look at. Anyway, um, so I didn't find the sheets, so I decided to go ahead and get online this week and get myself, you know, the kind of bedding that I want. And I, I, I like to have, you know, of course, bright color items, and I like to have, um, I prefer to have, like, designs on my sheets. You know, I, I have plain sheets, right? But those aren't fun. You know, I like to have like little prints and stuff like that. So um, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So anyway, I worked on my art project yesterday. The only thing I have to do is add handles to my little laptop bag and it looks really cute. I'm very pleased the way that it, it came out. And I'd like to give a shout out to my Canadian friend. Thank you so much for the gift of the fabric markers and they are they came out I mean it really helped me a lot in my little art project and um, you know um, it's nice to work with different tools art tools um, no I'm not artistic um, it's a hobby but um, yesterday I, I did look at zippers because I you know my the color of the bag is like a yellow and I made some I put a trim on it and I couldn't find the bright colored yellow that I was looking for. So I kept thinking, well, I'm kind of relieved because, you know, I really wasn't comfortable with the idea of inserting a zipper in the manner that they wanted to, like, they, like I had in my mind. I wanted to, but I really didn't feel confident enough to try to do that. So, um, you know, this one will be closed with like, you know, um, with snaps instead <clears throat> I'm very happy with the way it looks so like I said the only thing I need to do is put the handles on it now mind you I have nowhere to really carry my laptop right but um, 
I just thought, you know, it, it's just cute. I like making like little knick-knack items, like, you know, like the cell phone holder that I'm like going to make on the side of my desk. Do I need that? Is it really something? But it's just something to do to keep my mind occupied. And that's pretty much what I'm going to focus on, you know, right now until I figure out other things, you know. And I'm thinking maybe I'll be inspired to do something or maybe something will come to mind, you know, as far as, you know, looking for work, okay. But right now, it's just, I can't, I can't think about that right now. It's not a good idea for me to think about it. But um, <clears throat> I was thinking, you know, um, about how oftentimes, like, you know, when you have perps, or people who this little clan, this group, I'm talking about the collective. The collective is the um, <clears throat> people who are um, past employers that I worked with, the, the group that got involved with this, okay? My, my family, the Lyles clan, the blah, 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 blah. All right, all these people. When you talk about things on your videos or whatever, um, they tend to think, Everything that you say, they take literally, okay? So they they think that, you know, I, I don't know if, if that job offer was like a, um, a an insult or what, because I don't know. I mean, because every, all I can say, think is, is that everything that's happened throughout the course of my targeting has been negative. So everything that they do to me just kind of, just kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of it, you know. Um, or maybe they don't realize, you know, what people really want, you know. And so I was thinking, um, you know, like, for example, you know, they, they know that I have, you know, an issue with my hair. I don't have an issue with my hair, but obviously they do because they, they want to build my world around you know, something that I think is quite superficial, you know, so they're like, well, okay, well, she's got issues with hair, so we're going to do that, and she doesn't want to get married, so we're going to keep her away from men, so this is the reason why um, this, this job was offered over this, you know, place where these people are Hasidic Jews, they think that, well, you know, um, she'll feel comfortable, she'll feel comfortable, you know, around other women who, who, who wear wigs, she will feel, you know, good because she doesn't have to worry about men coming up to her. First of all, I would like to say that um, I don't need to be around other women who wear wigs to feel comfortable with myself, okay? Um, I think these people feel like, well, if I was wearing a wig and I, I, I felt like I needed to wear one, I would probably feel, because this is their little insecurity issue or they think, you know, because they're always projecting. And, um, or it could just be trying to insult me in some sort of way, um, which is stupid. But anyway, um, no, I don't, okay? What, all I cared about really was working in an environment where I could feel energized. That's it, you know? And, you know, there's like certain industries that I've always, you know, when you, you like I said, you sometimes you get jobs like, you know, that you don't really... I could work anywhere, really, except for I prefer not medical. I don't like those kind of places, really. Um, and I don't, I don't like gas, you know, stuff like that, or I mean, fuel type places. Um, right now, you know, where I work, I do deal a little bit with that, but not, it's not like I'm like, you know, it just, there's no real, uh, I don't really have anything to do with that aspect of it. So it's like, okay, I'm cool with that, right? Um, but, um, there are certain industries that I would prefer not to, to work at. That's it. I mean, those are the only things that I am, you know, adamant about avoiding, you know? So, um, and then, you know, so I don't have to feel comfortable around other women just because they have natural hair or whatever. You know, I, I don't have an insecurity about that. What I do have an issue is, is when people, um, try to make an issue out of it you know that's that's just ignorant right um then also you know when it comes to working with other men you know i see men all the time like when i go to the store or whatever um i don't see them very much i don't see women very much i mean because most of my time is i go to work and i come home and the only people that i really see are customers in stores and you know um and, um, you know, the people who work in the store or whatever. So I don't, you know, I don't 
really deal with that. If, if when you know in the past where you know people would walk up to me and, and talk to me or whatever, um, or times when that has happened, um, I uh, you know you just you know it, you, all you do is you basically say you know hey you know I, I'm not interested and that shuts it down. But most people in this town. <laughs> No, the the reason why you know you can't have you can't you know find a job or you're having problems finding a job is because these people put a situation in place to prevent you from having the job that you want, right? So everybody in this town knows who I am. Okay, so I, I it's highly improbable that you know somebody is going to uh, try to approach me romantically in the workplace okay and i would like to say that you know if something was like that to happen i'm not the kind of person that's going to jump to conclusions and call this person and, and call this person out and accuse them of sexual harassment i wouldn't do that okay i understand that people do this sort of stuff all the time okay and i understand it's kind of like a part of natural behavior for a lot of people but all you have to do is basically say no i'm not you know i'm not interested or i really don't want to get involved and that's all you really have to say. It doesn't have to be like this circus show. You know what I mean? And um, and and that's it. And I, I I don't look at it as a form of sexual harassment if somebody was to do that. Okay, I, I don't look at it that way. Now, if they were somebody who was persistent, you know, like you know, um, after you say you're not interested, and then they continually do it, then that would be sexual harassment. You know, so you. These people don't really think about stuff, you know? It's like, I can work around men and not have an issue with it. You know, I, I don't, you know, I'm focused. I'm a very focused person. And so, um, then they also, I also think that they, they um, assume that, you know, um, even though I had mentioned before, you know, I understood about um, Stephen Lyles and his family, I understood, you know, <clears throat> I understood, you know, that they were like this, right? And, um, you know, I, I don't hate Stephen Wells, but I'm not going to pursue a relationship, you know, and I, and I feel kind of abused by the actions that he took, um, you know, um, doing the things that their family did. I, I do. I feel like it's, it's very abusive, you know, and so that would, you know, that right there kind of puts an end to, to anything, although it never even started, you know, <laughs> so... You know, I, I wish him well. I really do, you know. And um, But I, I, I'm not interested in having a relationship. And so they think, well, I don't get it. You know, you're, you, you, still, you still, you know, take care of yourself. But you're still, you know, that, like I said, that has nothing to do with anything. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just my personal beliefs for myself that that's the way I choose to live my life, okay? And um, it, it, I really, I hate even having to justify it. So anyway, um, but yeah, they, they, these, this group, this collective group slash perps, they tend to take things a little too, too literally. Um, so today I'm going to um, finish work, putting my handles on my, my bag. And then um, really I might start my other project, my um, cell phone holder. I have like two cell phones that I use, okay? Um, one is not actually, doesn't actually have service on it. I just use it, you know, around the house to play games. Um, I can still get my emails and stuff like that on it. But, um, so I have two. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to make two little pouches so they both can sit in there as they get charged. Um, it's, you know, it's just easier because like, I don't really have a designated place for the, the cell phones to get charged. And so um, I just kind of put them, um, plug it in, and then lay it on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, that's just a shame. You know, why are you putting that on the floor? That's just terrible. But, um, yeah, I, I had a good day yesterday, you know, because I feel as though um, detaching from this situation is the best thing I can do. You know, I, I get, you know, emotionally involved in it because, you know, um, it prevents you from really enjoying the things that you want to do. Like you want to, I like being highly stimulated at work. I do, I do. And you know, um, like for example, I was talking about, I don't know if I mentioned that, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be listening to PowerPoint tutorials on a daily basis, um, maybe just for 20 minutes. There's all kinds of different things. 
and um, I was hoping I'd find it a, a, a YouTube channel um, that had uh, little lessons broken down. That's what I really wanted. Now there's, I listened to one yesterday, and pretty much all the stuff that they talked about were, were things I already knew, you know. So I want to, you know, gradually start taking on more and understanding more. But like for example, it would be a challenge for me. Like for example, if I was to work in a company and they said, well, could you for, do this presentation? Even though I didn't have, you know, a lot of experience with um, PowerPoint, you know, uh, other than like little crappy things that I've done, it would be a challenge for me. You know, it's like these little challenges are extremely, extremely energizing to me because it's like the minute somebody says, okay, I want you to do this, and I've never done it before, it'd be like, hell yeah, I'm going to get this, right? And I would apply myself, I would be, I would, I would apply myself, you know, it's, it's stimulating when people throw things at me that I haven't done before. And I find it, you know, and I'm open to it. It's like, yes, that's so cool. I like that because I will figure it out and I will enjoy it, you know. So, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, that this can be done, you know, and, um, and that it's been going on for so long, but. Um, so anyway, I, I, other than leaving the house today to pick up water, I don't really think I'm going to do a whole lot. Um, my car is parked. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just simply going to take a stroll across the street and pick up my items. Um, but yeah, I, I stayed out for maybe about an hour or two yesterday and, um, it was, it was quite enjoyable. You know, it was, it was really nice. And, um, you know, I, I'm not the kind of person who lingers in stores for very long. I literally just kind of stroll through the aisles and then I get out, you know, and, um, but I, I mean, there were times where I enjoyed just focusing on the art project, not thinking about that. But, um, I, I know that in the last few years it has taken up so much of my time and it has left me with nothing else to think about because when they you know, become so intrusive, you know, it becomes a community issue and you don't want to deal with the drama, you know, you don't want to deal with, um, you know, like I stopped going to the metaphysical place because they somehow managed to get there, you know, their influence even filtered into that place and that was one place I used to like to go to. You know, I used to like going to the little um, gatherings that they had there that would, you know, for example, you know, um, they would talk about, you know, just things that relating to, you know, metaphysical issues or whatever. So I, um, you know, now I have absolutely no activities outside interests that I participate or get out of the house, you know, that will make me get out of the house. And so, um, and I thought about volunteering, doing some volunteer work, but I know that the volunteer work really interests me, you know, so, um, and I'm sure that, that somebody would probably, you know, these people probably manipulated things to where, you know, that would have been a problem because that's one of the issues when, when your, when your reputation gets like, you know, squashed, I guess, but, um, but, you know, I'm, I am saying, though, that my targeting has gotten better. Like, I don't deal with that rudeness that I dealt with before, you know, because I think people thought that I was, um, which is stupid, you know. They thought that I was seeing, you know, Stephen, and, um, and obviously I, I wasn't. And then given the fact that, you know, um, when I was married, you know, my ex-husband was, in that sort of relationship so and then I was the one who was getting the finger pointed at me it's, it's so ridiculous it's like you, you you people's rage it's so illogical <laughs> it's so so illogical I also was thinking you know um that because you know my ex-husband's family was like that and then also um it, it you know it looks as though um Stephen's family is also like that too um People thought that that was a that I was just in. No, I, I I don't have anything to do with that. I think it's just a common lifestyle for you know certain people. I'm not saying all white people, but um, it's it's kind of a common thing because you know people are persecuting me for you know um, for you know I guess maybe people thought that I was hitting I was hitting on Stephen or I was seeing Stephen or whatever. 
and so they were defending they were probably defending his mom or i don't know how that works because i think she was trying to act like she was a you know she lied and said that she was probably i was probably gonna be with her son or something like that but yeah she had other you know motives um i don't know how that works you know but i also get the feeling that there was some sort of idea that i was you know, like breaking this particular couple up, I'm referring to Stephen and his mom or something. So, you know, if people are, are willing to jump to those conclusions, that just goes to show you that people are supportive of these sort of relationships in a large number, you know. And so, um, but obviously I, I have nothing to do with that. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm a little like, wow, <laughs> you know, um, I basically took a lot of heat for this drama that got thrown at me. And so that, that leaves you with like, you know, a bad reputation, even though I didn't deserve the bad reputation, you know, I didn't deserve it at all. You know, um, I had forgotten, you know, that I, I keep forgetting, you know, that the, the issue relating to my ex-husband and his family, I, I don't even think about them anymore. So I, I keep thinking, okay, I, I don't know. It's like the, the, the whole thing is so, so, so absolutely crazy. So anyway, on with my day. So I'm going to um, probably lay back in the bed for a few more minutes and then get up and get dressed and, um, you know, head out the door a little bit later in the afternoon. Um, and then it's kind of, think about the rest of the day. I mean, my day is pretty open other than the cell phone project that I'm going to be working on. Um, I've got all the whole day to myself. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will be back with another video, maybe today or whatever, whatever it depends on what happens or what I'm thinking about. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I mean, what's left of it and we'll talk some other time. Bye-bye.